Hello everyone and peace of the Lord, the Messiah, the Word of God, God on earth who came to us the visible image of the invisible God today we are going to talk about uh, the nature of the God of Islam you see the Muslims they say to us how God can be a man God we call him Almighty for he is Almighty and God who cannot be then he cannot be God too in the front of us we see Muslims videos Muslims cleric scholars supposedly speaking about Allah has in ha having hands heels fingers shin foot etc yet Allah he does not have a spirit many of you uh, heard of something called zombie what is zombie what is exactly this uh, idea of, uh, of uh, zombie uh, somebody is dead supposedly and he is walking I'm not going to show you some ugly images which you know from this uh, stupid uh, but just to make you understand what we are talking about if Allah is a body but yet he have no spirit he is a zombie Allah have or he has supposedly according to Muslims a physical shape he have a foot he has a shin he has a hands he have five fingers he have two hands in the right side but yet he has no spirit well those are dead which mean they have no spirit the, the difference between a dead person and a living person is the spirit a dead person your life or you is a person who have uh, no spirit as simple as that so when you say to me that your spirit is gone or your God he has no spirit at all yet he is alive then then we need to ask you is he a zombie maybe he is an idol Muslims they has no answer and they do not know what to say really <clears throat> in the chat we have already some Muslims and they are welcome if they are willing to answer uh, we see always Muslims they are making fun of Christianity but we don't know really why except that they are Muslims and they have a duty to insult Christianity Muslims they don't refuse Christianity because it does not make sense to them but just because Muhammad he said so and if Muhammad he said so that's it who dare to question what Muhammad he say Muhammad he say so then we obey what Muhammad said Muhammad is their God and he is the one in control of what to believe and even the Quran says whatever the Prophet says you obey him and actually yesterday we have a Muslim who left Islam after seeing the madness of this cult if Jesus is the visible image of God why he did not mention it clearly why the Trinity is just something that mysteriously was uh, deduct strange that is because of your ignorance and if you are a person who come here every day how many times we show that Jesus says it clearly that he is God tons of time you see the ignorance of Muslims the ignorance of Muslims is amazing they do not know their book they do not even know what Allah means and then 
they don't question they don't dare even to question their cult but they question us and they make a funny logic without reading did you read the Bible you don't even know anything about Christianity like your God Jesus said clearly that he is the living God this is John chapter 8 And by the way, this is just an example. And Yeshua spoke again to them and said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. The Pharisees were saying to him, you are testifying about yourself. Your testimony is not a true. Yeshua answered and said, to them even if I testify about myself my testimony is a true because I know where I am from where I have come and where I am going but you do not know from where I have come and where I am going you are judging currently I am judging no one but even if I do judge my judgment is a true because I am not alone but I and my father who sent me and in your written law it's written the testimony of two men is a true I am the living God I am the living God I who testify about myself and my father who sent me has testified me you were saying to him where is your father so this idiot he was saying to us where Jesus says I am God Jesus said the one who saw me he saw the father I am the living God and yet they will ask you show me where in the Bible it says that Jesus he said he is God secondly we don't believe in Jesus just because he said I am the living God because anyone can say I am the living God you can say that too so it's very silly argument and very stupid showing the ignorance and the stupidity and the mentality of refusing and rejecting without even reading one verse in the bible same time your god who have a foot who have a leg who have a shin as you see and your muslim confirm that how he is god and accepted for having a form which is a form mostly a form of a man but jesus because he is a man is rejected for the same reason you accepted your God to be God is the same reason you refuse Jesus to be God Here you will see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan The hypocrisy and Before I forget There is a there is a Muslim. <clears throat> he posted a comment about my uh, one of my videos where is the girl her name Zuzu where is Zuzu the Muslim Zuzu is she here because I saw a text of her uh, 15 minutes ago her name is Zuhra you remember the, the, the Zuzu <clears throat> she said that the Bible obviously is not from God because the Bible says that God created the earth before the heaven sorry no he said the the the, um, the Sun created four days after creating uh, the earth <clears throat> uh, and we made a video and we got them busted with their with their madness and stupidity you see the Muslims they argue but they have no knowledge of their stupid book yet they claim knowledge of our book uh, there is somebody he made the same statement and I'm going to read it for you let me find it first uh, one of you he copied a statement for me and he sent it I don't know if you have the uh, page in Facebook in in uh, YouTube we can read it there <clears throat> this guy he said and I hope you can read with me let us see if we can zoom in for you guys all right the Muhammadan said nowhere does Allah says in the verse that he made the earth first and then he made the heaven he merely says that he made all that is an earth and then he turned into the heaven 
that was already created if Allah had really created heaven after he created the earth then why would he say then he stole he rose toward the heaven after the creation of the earth how he can can he stoa which means raise over according to him toward the heaven when hasn't is it created yet in first place <laughs> you see I, I i understand that he is noticing here something stupid about his book and this is a good good thing you just shot your god in the head you are saying now if it's really Allah he created the earth first that's mean the Quran is saying stupid thing because how he created the earth and the heaven is not created yet and then he moved toward the heaven you got a point so all what we need to do now is a proving that Allah yes he created the earth first and then he created the heaven and then here you are adding additional mistake in the Quran contradiction stupidity and I agree with you if we go to Ibn Kathir, may Allah uh, 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 grant in him 70 versions. This is your Ibn Kathir, not me. <clears throat> and you Muslim, you challenge me. Why you don't show Ibn Kathir? Why you don't show Ibn Kathir? Okay, we are showing Ibn Kathir. Do uh, you verily uh, disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and he set up? Okay, you read it. All right. He said mountains, etc., etc., etc. So now the answer we're gonna find if Allah really created the earth first and then the heaven, and then then you get a point that Allah must be stupid, or whoever wrote the Quran, according to you, must be stupid. This ayat indicate that Allah started the creation by creating earth. <laughs> Guys, do you remember what he said? He said, if Allah really created the earth first, then how he say he moved over to heaven? That would be stupid. Correct? I agree with you. But the Quran is the book of stupidity. So you try to save your God from being stupid using what is written in the Quran to save his bum, but you did spank him without knowing. Because you just said, uh, then how he say that? That is a contradiction. How he can move to the heaven if there's no heaven? You are right. But as you see, this is how your prophet he understand and this is how your scholars understand these ayat indicate that Allah a creation started the creation by creating the earth he made the heaven into and then then he made the heaven into seven heaven this is how building usually start from the lower floor first and then to the top of floor <laughs> So this Muhammadan, <clears throat> this Muhammadan, he wanted to refute us supposedly, but look what he did to himself. He just helped us to expose the false fiction of the silly Quran. Uh, but anyway, it, my topic today is not about dress really. I mean the Quran is full of stupid mistakes I mean the whole Quran from first page to last page is stupid From the first page in the Quran to the last page in the Quran is pure stupidity All right uh, Somebody saying the following he is an ex-muslim Let us share his comment In the screen uh, ibn Kilab, Christian Prince I am an apostate I want to say to you you have not so many followers as YouTube stars But you create people like me in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything like as one student of you my friend first of all maybe you might be mistaken about how many people follow my videos I have millions of people watching my videos the thing is because YouTube like me very much 
they keep deleting my accounts deleting my videos so my videos are scattered everywhere so if you want to calculate how many followers I, I mean I don't want to say the word followers I don't like it actually how many people follow the videos because I don't have followers I don't want people to follow me I'm no one uh, how many people they subscribe to my videos you will find that the number is so huge because then you have to calculate everybody posting my videos subscription uh, and this is not really important uh, for me the important is spreading the message and teaching the people how to refute this stupid cult all right and this is what is important uh, if there is any Muhammadan would like to call me let me open my Skype to be sure that uh, that is possible for the Muhammadan to call only Muhammadan please or who, those who worship Muhammad and obey Muhammad, they can call me. <coughs> I'm logging into Skype just to be sure that they can call. All right, let us see. My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim would like to call, feel free, please. Okay, I'm having offer. Uh, my friend, the one who wanna call me from Nigeria, as we see, we need we need Muslims to call us. I really, I love to talking to you, to you Christian people, but this is not my you know my purpose here. I want people to hear the other side of the story. You know, I'm trying just to be fair and not only to hear someone he is uh, uh, getting Islam busted. We want you to hear a Muslim trying to prove us wrong. All right? Uh, because like, you know, uh, uh, Christians, uh, we, we, don't, we don't want to do what the Muslims do. You know, like the, the Dean show, there's a show, it's called the Dean show. The guy, he have a cell phone in his hand and the cell phone never even ring. He opened the phone. He says, hello. Yes. Uh-huh, brother. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, supposedly somebody is calling, but I assure you nobody is calling. Have you ever heard of TV station? You cannot hear the caller? Never. Why? Because nobody is calling they fabricate questions and answers they have questions and answers ready in the program and they cannot answer anything except what is written there and the answers and the question both of them written by them for they are a fake people we don't want to be the same as muhammadan any muslim is willing to call me my skype is open give me your id i will call you all right as simple as that Talk is cheap. Here we don't talk only, we show the proofs. Right? <clears throat> uh, and guys, be nice with your comment about the Muslims, please, if you don't mind. Because we are not here to call names. We are here to, uh, you know, uh, make, a, make a statement which is can be proven. And we show reference. It's an education. Uh, channel not uh, name calling we don't want to do what the Muslims do I can say the word is stupid if somebody is stupid you know this is stupid uh, like you know what we see in the front of us the Muslims always try to make comments to refute us but in fact when they do that always they do something stupid against their God you know the problem is not only the Muslim do not know their religion they help us to expose their religion and I will give you an example. I will keep reading what this guy comment is. Read with me. This verse, this verse Allah says, 
Allah created the earth no this verse talk only about things on earth and not earth itself I mean what this guy he was eating before he make the answer what what is the food you ate let us go to the Quran he is he it is who created for you all that on earth then he rose toward the heaven and we showed you the interpretation for that when you say he rose toward the heaven and you say to us that well if there is no heaven how he rose toward the heaven that is a question you ask it to your city God however everything in the earth was created and yet there was nothing in the heaven how we can prove that we can go to different verse in the Quran <coughs> and we will find this in chapter 41 verse number 11 it says Allah here I give you all the details Allah created the earth in two days as you see then he placed on the earth all things including mountains uh, water grass trees whatever and here by the way you notice that Allah he claimed that he placed the mountains above it which is very stupid because mountains are not some, some something placed it is something coming from the ground and then after he finished everything in the earth in four days in the top of the first two days the creation the earth the guy in his comment he says where it says that he created the earth into to, you know the first it says here in front of you and then after that four days to finish everything in the top and then after that then he went to the heaven and it was smoke which means there was nothing so when you say to me what you just said you are just showing us that how limited those Muslims are Muslims are uh, generally speaking they are copy paste people they do not know anything and if they try to refute you they copy paste they do not know really what they are saying they are just followers copy the same as they copy uh, uh, Allah as an example Allah he wanna refute the Christians how Allah he refuted the Christians about Jesus being God I will give you an example <clears throat> Jesus in chapter 5 verse number 75 how he can be and his mother God's what we don't believe in his mother as God how he can be and he and his mother they used to eat food So the logic of Allah, if Jesus eat food, he cannot be God, because he eat food. Well, angels don't eat food, do they? Muslims, according to your God, angels don't eat food. I'm just using the logic of your city God if the one who eat food he can he cannot be God which means if you don't eat food you are God okay angels don't eat food here we go we made you today Jehovah's Witnesses how stupid that is So always I see that the one who speak in the Quran, he have a very limited, short, uh, uh, comprehensive ability, and he is a stupid. Angels do. There is a hadith for Muhammad where he says, eat food with Jibreel. Okay, guys, just to show you the stupidity again, just to show you the stupidity again. I mean, I, I, I always tell you that Muslims always, they help a Christian prince in his mission. Read carefully with me. Fadi Harun said, Angels do, which means do eat. 
there is a hadith for Muhammad where he says that he ate food uh, uh, with Jibreel okay thank you very much but this is because Jibreel he come in earth in the form of a man but angels do not need food so you are talking now and this is confirming to us the stupidity of this book if you eat food that's mean you are just a human so the angel now when he ate food he turned into an angel he's still an angel or he's a human now the Quran describe if you ask the Muslims the Quran says we send our spirit we ask them who is the spirit who is the spirit they say to you uh, ask them who is the Holy Spirit actually they say to you Jibreel there's nowhere by the way in the Quran it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel nowhere but this is the Muslims believe so we will go with their belief okay so the Holy Spirit which is Jibreel supposedly according to the Muslims and as you see here in English it says Ruhul Qudus Ruhul Qudus mean what between two brackets Jibreel okay how he is a spirit and yet you said he eat food how he is a holy spirit and yet he eat food are you there how even you call him a spirit and not only you call him a spirit you call him Holy Spirit so he is holy and he is a spirit yet he is eating falafel with the Prophet of Allah and here we notice that the Quran is a mix of many believe Muhammad he heard the Christian speaking about the Holy Spirit he liked the idea okay the Holy Spirit And the funny that Jibreel he come to Muhammad in the image of a man who is a boyfriend of Muhammad his name is Dahil Kalbi let us show you the reference I mean isn't it amazing that we find now that Jibreel he is a spirit and he have now a shape of a man and he eats sandwiches and now he is in the shape of the hill Kalbi why to see and trying to find the hadith All right, read with me carefully. Muhammad, he have a boyfriend who stay very late in his house. And actually, there is one of the statement of Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, at that time, he was a kid, the cousin of the Prophet. He entered upon a, a, a Muhammad, and in the interpretation, it says that he found him in a spiritual position spiritual position what does that mean we do not know and then Ibn Abbas he said to him is it this is uh, the here the Prophet he says no 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 this is not the here this is Jibreel but he is in the image of the hill Kalbi why Jibreel is coming in the image of the hill Kalbi did I lose images, guys? Did we lose contact connection? I hope not. Any Muslim can tell us? Muhammad, he have a guy, he is exist in his neighborhood, and he was the most handsome man in town. Even Muhammad, he sent this guy to supposedly to the king of the Roman with the letter from him. 
because he's very handsome but look what happened by saying that Jibreel he is exactly look like the Kalbi so now people how people will know who is Jibreel and who is the Kalbi and how Muhammad himself would recognize between them how Muhammad will know who is who and who is who the Hilkalbi come to him it might be Jibreel Jibreel come to him it might be the Hilkalbi Do we have any Muslim have something to say? Any Muhammadan want something to say? I mean, we want to say something to us. So Muhammad always he have a very weird, stupid stories to cover his ass. Muhammad is dating a guy. His name is. The hill can be sleeping with him and he is trying to cover the problem and the shame even Aisha she said you know like uh, they have jealousy from Muhammad who like who as an example Salman al Farisi Salman al Farisi was a good looking guy too from Persia Muhammad he spent the whole night with him Muhammad, he is already as a person, he is a very fishy person. He wear his wife clothes. And let us see if we can find the hadith. Muhammad wearing his wife clothes. So Muslim will not say we are making things up. <clears throat> Actually, all those hadith they are saying the same, but all of them they are trying to find, uh, like uh, you know, the translation is very false, you know. Translation always is false. Here you will see that Muhammad is, you know, with, uh, wearing the robe of Aisha. But let me see if I can find you. Now you see all the translation, they hide the story where it says that Muhammad, look, they translate the word bed sheet. Murt is not a sheet. Murt is a clothes only for women. Uh, here we go. You see here, look, here it says, Aisha, she said, may Allah be pleased with her, who was wearing a war dress he gave her permission to enter etc etc translation is always you know you, you cannot find a, 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 a good honest translation okay here we go look at this one does it say that Muhammad was wearing the cloth of Aisha while he was laying off Aisha bed wearing Aisha Wall in shirt. This is not true. This is nothing is called war in shirt. What well, this is war in shirt Murat the Murat is Kind of uh, women clothes, you know, I, we can show that too uh, uh, Murat is a women clothes specifically It's it's like now you say skirt you say etc. So it is a clothes for women Jalabiya long dress for women and only women dress it. So Muhammad was wearing that why? Why this man is wearing his wife clothes And then here, in this story in the front of us, you will find something more fishy. When men they enter upon Muhammad, Muhammad he is exposing, like it's a long dress, but not for Muhammad. Aisha is a short woman. 
so it's showing her his legs showing his thigh so Aisha he, she is saying he was laying wearing my clothes and then uh, Abu Bakr uh, uh, been given permission to enter to to sit with Muhammad all right and then uh, Omar came and he sat with Muhammad and then when Uthman came Muhammad he cover cover his legs which means his legs was totally exposed read carefully with me when Omar may Allah be pleased with him asked for permission to come and uh, in and uh, and he gave him permission he came for a, uh, in a while he was like that he was like what what he was laying down with the same position of his of of, of the clothes of Aisha showing her, her his his, uh, his his legs then when uh, Abu Bakr came uh, Omar came and then uh, Uthman he came Omar left Uthman said then I asked for permission to come in and he set up and he told Aisha take your garment take your clothes he took off the clothes I told him what I needed and uh, uh, then I left I told him what I needed and I left Aisha asked the messenger of Allah why did I see you see that you did not do for Abu Bakr and Omar what you did for Uthman which means he changed the clothes of Aisha he don't want he don't want them no more the message of Allah said Uthman is a modest man and I feared that if I gave him permission to come while I was in that state he would not tell me what he needed what is the state he was in embarrassing so Muhammad he sat in the front of men showing his uh, his bum wearing a shirt or a clothes of Aisha exposing his legs sitting and open they have no underwear so Abu Bakr he come he did not change Omar he came he did not change Uthman he came he said and look carefully I'm not the one who's saying that he said Uthman is a modest man that's mean Muhammad what he was doing was not modest And the reference in the front of you and I know the Muslim they will say to you this is weak brother it is not weak nice to meet you mr. weak it is Sahih it is Sahih so what we would do now we go back to our topic so Jesus cannot be God because he ate food Okay, what about Jesus can be God for what he do? I mean now you remember that he eat food But you don't remember that Jesus can resurrect people from death. He can create from the mud the bird according to the Quran By breathing into the mud How he can do that the Muslim they say to you well Allah gave him the power okay Allah gave him the power to what to be creator so now we have two creators we have the creator which is his name is Isa in Islam and we have the creator which his name is Allah which one of them is God secondly why Allah gave ability to create only to Jesus out of all mankind You rejected Jesus for he have a shape or look or a form of a human being you accepted Allah for what he have five fingers he have a shin he have two hands in the right side which is funny he have eyes he have ears he have a front he have back and he have an ass and he is heavy 
to the point uh, you know Allah actually looked like a Santa Claus uh, <clears throat> in case you do not know Allah is carried by eight mountain goats let us see I'm trying to find the hadith for you. <clears throat> okay. This is where Allah is located right now. According to the Muhammadan and their prophet. Above the seven heaven, there is a sea. What? Above the seven heaven, there is a sea. Okay, nice to meet you. Between whose top and the bomb is like a distance, like between one heaven and another. Okay. Then above that, there is eight mountain goats. You see here between two brackets, it doesn't say this is additional in the in the uh, the hadith there is eight mountain goats the distance between their hooves and their knees is like the distance between the heaven and the neck and the next look how big those goats huge goats very huge like you can say like a million millions of kilometers very very big goats like every every goat the distance between their hooves only and remember this is this is not how big they are this is only the distance between their hooves and they're telling you how big they are the distance between their hooves is the same distance between one heaven to the other but this is stupid because if this is the distance between their hooves then they are that's mean they are bigger than the heaven itself eight mountain goats are carrying a law and then he said then on their back is the throne the throne of who the throne of Allah so Allah is carried by eight goats who they are extremely huge do we have any Muhammadan Any Muhammad, I want to say something. Allah, who is carried by eight goats, who care if he is, uh, I mean, whatever he is. And this is obviously, it is literally, is not a metaphorical. This is not a metaphorical. This is literally. We are talking about distance. We are talking about numbers. We are talking about how far it is. And eight mountain goats carrying Allah. That's Santa Claus. Santa Claus is real by the way many people they say to you Santa Claus is not real. That's stupid by the way Santa Claus is real. He's a real person There's a stories about Santa Claus is not real, but is Santa Claus is a real person. Yes, he is Like the story saying he come in your chimney and etc. Those are not real But he is a real person So is Allah a real person? I don't care how big those goats are if Allah is dependent he do not need anyone why he need eight goats to carry his throne do we have any Muslim any Muslim want to say something 
I will give you an image which is a romantic about your God Allah so you will feel better is that him this person in the screen he make children's happy for real he spent all his money his life making children's who they are poor happy Allah make everybody sad he make a children orphan he make children lose their parents he make children get to be raped get kidnapped slaughtered taken into slavery that is Allah so it's not really fair to compare between Santa Claus and Allah Santa Claus bring happiness he never harm anyone Allah is a very evil person but we are just comparing between the goats Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Anyone? Any Muslim feel like you want to call me urgently? I think the Muslims they are not calling because each time they call they leave Islam Allah he has a foot Jesus have a foot okay but Jesus have a foot because he came to us as a human being Allah has a foot for what Any Muslim can explain to us? Allah has a foot for what reason? What is the reason? Allah, He has a foot. You see, everything have a reason. God created me. He made me in the way I am. Gave me hands, have five fingers, so I can grab things with it. Okay. I have a foot, so I can stand on it. That's wonderful. Allah has a foot for what reason? Any Muhammadan have an idea? Allah have two hands and both of them they are in the right side of his shoulder. Which I find it very funny, I mean. And both of his hands are right hands. So what this hadith confirm that Allah have both hands. Is that correct, Muslims? I'm so glad he have four, not many, like octopus. So it's confirmed now that Allah is not octopus for sure because if he's an octopus he would have more than two hands Would he have to give me his Skype so I can call him my friend Mr. Abdullah James whatever his name So why Allah he have hands and Allah have foot why they are both in the right side Anyone? How many Allah, how many fingers Allah he has? Five fingers. Why? You Muslim, you say nothing like Allah. You are copying actually a statement from the Bible. Hmm. Nothing like Allah. But he have five fingers. He have a foot. He have a mouth. He have hands. 
and even in the day of judgment he will do striptease and your scholars teaching all over YouTube and the videos all over there you can go and watch that that Allah has hands Allah has heels Allah has fingers Allah has shin and he have a shape even Zakir Naik, he says, Brother editor, Allah have a tape, but how would tape look like? We do not know. So we don't think about it. Do Allah have a tape? Absolutely. He have a tape. Okay, Zakir Naik, thank you very much. Spot, stop spitting. So Allah have a shape, but how it look like? We do not know. That's it. That's the story now. I mean, you confirm to us a lot of information. It's like answering the water is water. Who is a Muslim want to say to us why Allah he has a shape? He have legs. He have all those crazy stuff. Hmm? Anyone? Didn't know. This is a copy-paste religion. They do not know what the word Allah means. They do not know who is Allah. They have no idea. Even Muhammad himself, he never met Allah. He never heard, even heard the fart of Allah. And this religion is very weird. I mean, even this Allah, he do crazy stuff. And I will give you an example. You know, the Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad, he received the Quran by a middleman, which is an angel, supposedly. His name is Jibreel. I like Jibreel, by the way. I met him many times. As you said, his name is Dahil Kalbi. He's very handsome. <laughs> Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, He confirmed to us that Allah He sent him the chapter of Al Fatiha while he was doing poopoo. -poo. And that is a clear reason for me to believe that the Prophet is a true Prophet. Otherwise, how come and why he receive it in such a timing? Perfect timing. You are doing poopoo. -poo, and then Allah, He send you delivery. And what he delivery is the same prayer. The Muslims, they pray five times a day. This is the chapter of Al-Fatiha, verse number one. Each time Muhammad, he go out to do the bathroom business. Read with me carefully. And the Muslim try to make it look nicer. It says, the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace. Whenever he went out, went out where? Uh, to the bathroom. This is a dog. He used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard that, he used to flee. Any Muslim want to say something? What is that? A crazy man? Why he flee? Why he's running away? Muhammad already spoke to Jibreel many times, and he came to him in the image of Dahil Kalbi. So he should know how he looked like. He knew how his voice is. So why he flee? The answer is very simple. It is dark. He is doing poo poo, and he cannot focus. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? And he, he, he ran. And then Waraka. Ibn Nufal, which is the real father of Muhammad, as I believe, advised the Prophet to remain in his place when the caller calls him. So he can hear 
I mean, come on, he told you, like, why you are running away? Next time he called, you stand, stay there. This is a prophet of God. We don't want to change the topic, Georgia, with my respect to you. Let us focus on one topic. Any Muslim want to say something? See, this is your books. This is not Christian saying something wrong about the Prophet. Obviously, this guy, he has a mental issue. Already he received many Quran. Why is he running away? The reference is in front of you, my friend. This is... This is the of actually the admin is posting for you the link. You can open it, you can save it. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Asbab al Nuzul by Imam al Wahidi is a book. Asbab al Nuzul Arabic means the reason for the, uh, the, the, the Quran to come. Like every, every, supposedly every verse have a reason for it to come. So, what is the what is behind this verse? In this book, you find the reasons. So, here the, uh, the author of the Imam, the scholar, he is giving us from the Islamic reference what is the reason for this is to come, how it how it came to existence. No, Muhammad's father did not die seven years before his death. He died four years before sorry before he before his birth. Muhammad was born four years after his father's birth, and it's like this has happened always in the Middle East. I know many Muslims friends. Their mother get a pregnant four years after. Actually, according to Islam, a Muslim woman she can be pregnant up to to, to to ten years. Like depend in the school or sect. Some they say seven, some they say four, uh, but the maximum is ten years. This is why there was a Muslim woman. She was accused of adultery because she delivered a baby uh, after like two years of her less than two years. I think uh, her husband he passed away. Then the lawyer who studies Sharia law for sure, he told the judge, well, isn't it according to the Sharia, to the Islamic law, a woman she can be, still can have a, have a baby because the sperm of the man stay inside her up to 10 years? 10 years. 10 years. So he was able to save her from a stone into death using the stupidity of Islam. So if you marry a Muslim woman and you divorce her five years ago, and she give you a call and she said to you come and pay the bill in the hospital for your son you cannot say this is not my son any muslim by the way if there is any muslim want to say i am lying and you want to give you want me to show you the proof that a Muslim woman, she can be carrying a, 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 the sperm of a man, her previous man, for many, many years, will challenge me. You can call me immediately. Hmm? You see, we are live here. Very transparent. Not like Muslims, they make a, a false accusation and stupidity. Um, and they make a video speaking to themselves. All right, we have a Muslim calling. Salam alaikum. Islam truth. Hello. Salam alaikum, can you hear me? Yes, alaikum salam, my friend. How are you? Yeah, brother, I'm, I'm good, man. You keep making on claims and claims. You got to show the evidence, brother. You got to show the evidence, brother. Okay, hold on. Yesterday you called me and yes. I show you tons of evidence. Did you check them out? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, you, all, and you're all. still a Muslim until now? Yes. What do you mean you still? Yes. All the crazy stuff. And you are the one who said this is, this is crazy. All the crazy stuff I showed you yesterday. Still you are a Muslim? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, brother, I didn't have much time. So oh. I couldn't uh, watch all of the images. Okay, so you are asking me to show your reference for what now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to, uh, too much, to, uh, to, uh, like a few minutes, man. Yeah, okay, but you want reference for what? For, for the things that you were saying. About what? About the woman she can be carrying a baby for many years? Yeah, yeah. for 10 years, no. that's No, 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 you got to show that. For okay, 10 here years. we go. This is 
and I will translate using Google. This is this is in Arabic. أطول مدة تمكثها المرأة وهي حامل. I will translate to Google the page as it is. This is fatwa number one four zero one zero three. I will post the link for you and the, to everybody so they can read it. Here, translate to English. All right, yes, translation is ready. Do you see the title? Let me see. Open. Yeah. Okay. So it was in Arabic. Now we made it English. This is Google translation. So talk, take into consideration, translation is not too much accurate, but it's going to be enough. Firstly, issued long. Okay. Now he will tell you according to each school of Islam, how many years a woman she can still carry in a child from a previous man. All right. Number one. It says here. Here is nine month. Number two, one year. Number three, two years. Number four, three years. Number four, number four twice here. It's coming four twice. For I think it's a mistake. This should be number five. Okay. Uh, five, four years, which is the doctrine of Shafi'i and Hanbali. What is, what is your sect? Are you Shafi or Hanbali? I don't have any sect. I'm Muslim. Uh, no, there's nothing. It's called a Muslim. Muslim Sunni. They have four Islamic sect. Which one is yours? I, I follow the I follow the Quran. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you yeah, know, come on. There's nothing. It's called like this. Aren't you a Sunni? Sunni. They have four. Yes. Okay. Sunni, Sunni have four sect. Which one is yours? Sunni. Are, are you Maliki? Are you side. Hanafi? It... Are you Hanbali? Are you Shafi'i? Which one? What is that? What is it? It's just Sunni. Okay, we will talk about Sunni. that later. Okay, so four years, four years according to Shafi'i and Hanbali. All right, and uh, most famous according to the Maliki. Here it says five years a novel uh, uh, about the Imam al, -Mal al Maliki. Six years according to this. Seven years according to etc. Uh, and there is no limit is uh, to more to be written it toward etc blah 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 so this guy is saying there's no limit it can be like for many years and then here <clears throat> uh, this guy is saying what uh, see local blah 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 uh, okay all right um, but anyway we showed you the reference this is your schools and this is your Islamic website and this is the fatwa so a Muslim woman, uh, she can be yeah, yeah. she can be carrying a child for many many years. What do you think about that? It's false, of course. Why? No, but is that the hadith? What is that? I don't, I see a side, but no, no. This is according to, according to many hadith. The scholars they don't say things from their own pocket. You know they don't dare. The scholars they tell you what they learn from the prophet. So each one, each one he come to a conclusion about how long. Uh, a person, a woman, she can uh, carry a baby for how many years? So, what do you say? I don't take them as authority. They are the authority. They are. They are. <laughs> they, those are. You see, even the sect carry their name. When you say Hambali, when you say I'm Hambali, it's mean you follow this guy. It's not. Don't have authority only. The the sect name have their names. When you say Maliki, it's mean your Imam is Malik. When you say Hanafi, it's mean your Imam is Hanafi. It's mean you Imam. follow you follow the school of this man. Hmm? But who are they? My my Imam. I just follow what Prophet Muhammad said and the Quran. I don't I don't care what these uh, things. They can say whatever they want. Hmm. They don't have the authority. Hmm. Okay, so you don't care about anything except what the Quran says. And Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad so if Prophet Muhammad he says something and it is a stupid you will leave Islam I'll have to look into it I can't just no 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 you see I'm not saying you you should not look at, at I saying if it is what he said is is a stupid you will leave Islam for sure you will look at it so 
it's, it's like saying if I show you uh, something in stupid in the Bible, will you leave Christianity? My friend, uh, uh, you leave any any religion teach you something stupid. Why not? I mean, what's what is that? Why you don't do that? Why you don't do that? So now, I if I show you something stupid, if I show you, we're talking about the women, uh, how uh, how how the production happened according to Islam. If I show you your prophet saying something proven to be stupid, is that enough for you to believe that he's a, a false man? Oh, brother, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I can say the same thing. My friend, you can say the same thing about the Bible, no problem. And remember, you know, when we talk about the Bible, the Bible is a book written. Uh, there's a word of God and there's the word of man. As an example, hold on. As an example, if I say something, if, if the Bible says there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince, he said this, you cannot judge the Bible by what this guy he said. You can judge the Bible by what God said. Correct? As an example, yeah. let, I'll give you an example. The Bible says that the the daughters of Lut, they had sex with their father. Hmm? But it's not God saying yeah. he yeah. told them to have sex with their father. So you don't judge God by what they did. People commit sin, commit crimes, commit bad things. So here we are judging Quran teaching and the prophet teaching, not the teaching of somebody who have nothing to do with Islam. Are you getting my point? Not much, not much. So okay. You, you according to science, to... according to science, how many days uh, sperm can stay inside the woman uh, body alive? According to science, do you know? what? Not much. How how much? How many? I don't know. Uh, not more than a year or something. Not a year. A year. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, a day, maybe. A day, maybe. Okay, how many days do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. We will go to Prophet Google. And you can search the same on your side. Five days, the sperm or yeah, semen can days. live up to five days. Correct? You agree with yes. that? Okay. Yes. You're a prophet saying that a human being can stay inside, or the sperm, sorry, sorry, inside the women up to 50 days so which one is your prophet Gogol or Muhammad which one is could a better you, qualification for you to be a prophet could, for you, you repeat that Gogol said prophet Gogol peace upon him said that uh, a sperm can live up to five days maximum maximum yes Muhammad yes. he said 50 days which one of them can be considered a true prophet for you Google or the prophet of Allah Muhammad why did Muhammad uh, say it, it, it lasts for 50 days well you need to give me time like maybe a year to find the hadith for you is that okay <laughs> yeah because uh, it, it, it might take me 50 days to find it because I have to go inside the women and look for the sperm and you know <laughs> it's a uh, 50 days here we go it's in front of us make it quicker then all right make it quicker read it Swim. do you see it this is your prophet talking and this is sahih this is sahih muslim and we can show it from al-bukhari one second hmm. there's a guy his name uh, abdullah james he's a muslim he says he's a liar i'm a liar why i'm showing it on the screen the messenger of allah said when the drop of semen, drop of uh, sperm, uh, uh, remain in the womb for 40 or 50 days or 40 nights. What do you mean I'm lying? All right. Uh, so when this drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 50 days or 40 nights, hmm. the angel uh, comes and says, my Lord. Yeah, but this is not the, the, we don't care about the rest now. Do you agree that the sperm yeah. stay for 40 or 50 days? Where is this narrated? Where is narr narrated? This is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Let me show you. Here we go. Yeah. 
This is the hadith. This is the reference. Sahih Muslim. This is Sunnah.com, as you see. Chapter: How a human being is created in his mother womb, and his provision, lifespan, and deeds are written down, and his misery and happiness. Hadith number two six four four, Sahih Muslim. So what we will do now? Is there is there any uh, reference in the Bible about this with semen and stuff like that? Well, the Bible speak like you know there is a there is a meditation. I see there is something like a. When somebody speak about God, how He created me, but it's not God speaking. No. Hmm. So, what we will do now? Which I was uh, lacking the bad connection. Now good. No. So, what we will do now? You will leave Islam, or you will believe in the Prophet who taught you? No, I gotta look into the. You see, it, each time what, you call what, me, what, each time what, you call me, you say to me, I need to, listen, listen, hold on. I don't know. Either you are playing games with me, not being honest, or no, you are I'm being not. honest. Okay. You say to me, I need to look at it. Okay. Well, you are looking at it now. This is sunnah.com. Here we go. Let me go up. This is sunnah.com. Is it? A website made by Muslims, Sunni. Published by Muslims, paid by Muslims. So why you are saying I need to look at it? Look at it. What? It's so clear. Even this one, we need to play games with it. It says forty or fifty nights. That's it. What we would uh, do, uh, brother? Hmm. Um, I'll gain more knowledge about this stuff because I don't have uh, long. Okay, so let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, the sperm, the sperm come yes. from the, the sperm coming from where? From uh, you, your testicles. Okay, the Quran says the sperm coming from the backbone. What do you think? No, it says uh, uh, between the backbone and the ribs or something, right? Yeah, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. But in the, about the man, it says uh, between the backbones and the ribs or something? Yes, the backbone right? of the man and the ribs of the women. No, specifically on the man. No, no, no. What is when it, it says uh, between, the between here, this is a translation. It's about between the men and the women. From the man, it's coming from the backbone. From the women, it's coming from the ribs. You don't believe me? Is that what it says? Okay, let me show you. I will show you immediately. We don't make things up, my friend. We prove it. This is your scholars explaining the verses, and we have nothing to do with it. All right. Is that Tafsir al Jalalain? Do you see it? This is the official, the official government website of the Kingdom okay. of Jordan. Okay. Does it say issuing from between the backbone of the man and the breastbone of the women? So they try to yeah. lie to you, says, oh, this is about from here to here of the man. That's stupid. That's not what it says. It says there's a gushing fluid of the women and the women and the man. Here the word in Arabic is a taraib. Taraib is bones, yes, but it's a word used for women bones, which is the location of the necklace. So the Quran made it clear it's about mm. women. This is why the older scholars they agree that at Taraib it's about the women. So here they try to confuse you and try to fool you. It says it says between. No, the between is between the man and the women, and it's issuing from where? From the backbone of the man. And the, from the bones of the women, which is the location of the necklace, not the bones of the breast. No. 
the location of the necklace which means the the collar point of your neck of the women neck and we can change if you if you want we can change even the try like uh, the interpretation if you don't like this one maybe this one is not good for you this is Ibn Abbas the cousin of the Prophet do you see what it says Sure. Uh, 86, uh, 86, right? Sorry. Uh, verse seven, right? Yeah. Seventh verse. That issued from the loin of the man, which is the backbone, and the ribs, the ribs of the women. This is Ibn Abbas. We can go to Ibn Kathir. You want to see Ibn Kathir? We can go to Ibn Kathir. I mean, here we go. Otherwise, I mean, here. Here we, we have to ask. I mean, why all all Muslims uh, uh, scholars agree that this is the backbone of the man and the women uh, ribs? I mean, obviously there is something wrong. Then why oh, all those Muslims? Doesn't, doesn't describe any women. W which word describes a woman? I the told you. I told you. You are not listening. I told you. I told you. The word taraib is only used for women bones. This is why all the scholars right away they say women. You are not listening. Read carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is who? Ibn Kathir. So we showed you Ibn Abbas. We showed you Ajalalain. And now we are showing you Ibn Kathir. Look what he says. Meaning, the sexual fluid that comes from out breast, breasting forth from the man and the women. Thus, the child produced from both of them by permission of Allah. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Do you see it? Mm. So all Muslim scholars now, they are donkeys, they don't speak Arabic, good. And those who they speak to you in YouTube try to, to <laughs> I mean, isn't it obvious they are trying to deceive you? I mean, the back. Hmm. And now you will say to me, I need to look at it. Well, I just showed you, I showed you now Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, and Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. And the three are Arab who speak perfect Arabic. How they come to the conclusion, how they come to this, if this is not what it says. And now, why no, no Muslim mm. made fun of them for saying that for 1400 years? And here he continued, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women it is the fluid is yellow and fine in texture that's for the women the child the child will not be born except from both of them i.e the sexual fluid so what we will do you will tell me i need to look at it we are looking at it right now Mm. So, you still believe that the Quran is the book of God? Of course. Huh? Well, you can't just, you know, put heavy stuff on me and then expect me to. I'm not I, saying, I'm not putting heavy stuff what, on you. You are a man. You are a man. You are not a kid. Are you, are you a kid? No, no, no. Okay, so you are a man. Um, you know, we are here talking nicely, friendly. I'm not calling your names. I am explaining to you, taking yeah. from my time, opening the website for you, sharing my knowledge with you, not to put heavy stuff on you. I just to show you, to teach you. Now, did I lie to you in anything? No, you didn't. Okay, it is there in the front of us. So what we will do now? How this can be God, yet he says such a stupid thing. Yeah, bro. Thank you, man. I didn't have uh, long. Okay, uh, thank you. What? Are you going to are you going to leave Islam or not? Are you going to leave Islam or not? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, salamu alaikum. Bye bye. I'm not leaving now. I will leave later. I will take the bus. Okay, come on, man. Be honest. What do you mean? You are, you are escaping now because it's embarrassing. It's not. Trust me, it's not embarrassing for you. You are not. You are a victim. You are not the criminal. We are not against you. 
just be honest with yourself I am not against you it's not mm -hmm. you who said this is stupid thing but obviously it's stupid do you agree this is stupid no what you're showing me on the screen yeah, with the highlight on a blue thing of course that is but what if that is not true what if it's only means from the men like, what no this is what oh, the Quran know, is saying I, I, this, is, this is what the Quran is saying you see wh why you are saying is why is why if it's not a true this is the Quran saying the Quran saying that and those are the best to understand Islam supposedly explaining it to you you are just resisting I see what you mean you know you're resisting for no reason it's not me it's not you know you want to take somebody he make an article just yesterday so those who came like Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is a cousin of Muhammad who exists in the time of Muhammad even Muhammad he pray that may Allah guide Ibn Abbas to be which means the ink of a scholarship even this guy he do not know the cousin of Muhammad from the time of Muhammad yeah yeah Ibn Abbas so what we will do now Muhammad he prayed for him to be the scholar of Islam the only scholar Muhammad he named him to be the scholar of Islam to explain the Quran it is Ibn Abbas so what we will do hmm? what we will do we will not leave Islam still brother I can't just change anything overnight if I change overnight I maybe uh, see something you are not changing overnight you are change not, change, change, you are not will, changing overnight brother. my friend uh, uh, if we discover that there is a person he's a liar he's a liar doesn't matter how many lies he make do you agree yeah okay so and this is a lie Muhammad here he claimed that Allah is the one who told him So if we prove that he is lying, mm. that's mean Allah never told him anything. If Allah is a true God, there's no way the true God, if Allah is a true God, no way the true God will tell Muhammad such a madness. <clears throat> yes. So what do you think? We leave Islam or we stay? Well, I, I saved this, yeah, brother. Mm. Surah Tariq 87 6. Mm. Right? And? I promise you, brother. I, I, I don't have um, long. So, All and right. I, I, I just think some guy, Abdullah James, wants to uh, go into call with you. He would never I, call me. This guy, he's just trying right? to disturb you so you will not leave Islam life on air. He's just trying to make you hang up. Because he's afraid that you will find the truth and the truth will set you free. Here we go. We are here. Why oh, he don't call? He can call. He can call even when you are talking, and I will take him. Now, and I will make you join you in the conversation. But he's a coward. I will give him opportunity to explain mm -hmm. to you live on air to get me busted. Live on air. I will let you three of three of us speak together. But do he dare? He don't. Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. He can join the conference, but he will not dare to call because he knew that he we are showing the truth. Do you dare, Abdullah? Abdullah, now he will go under the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. See, Abdullah, he will not call because he's a potato. He is not a brave like you. So what do you say, my friend? I just want the reference, brother. I gave you tons of reference. Everything I said to you yesterday, yesterday I spent about an hour speaking to you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did I give you all the reference you needed? Yeah, you did. You all did. right. So, and everything I showed you, it was disgusting, stupid. There's no way God will say those things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my friend, I'm not going to, I'm just trying to help okay. you. But here we go. Call me anytime you wish. When we have time, we are, we are here every day. Call me and let us see for how long you will stay a Muslim. Did, did you like the picture I showed you yesterday about the versions? 
Is it good? Did you like the pictures I showed you yesterday about the versions? <laughs> Be you honest with me. Did you felt like you are very horny or something after you watch those pictures? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Because I noticed after I showed you these pictures, you said I need to go, I need to go. You know? So I was wondering, like, what happened to this guy? Maybe he got so excited or something. <laughs> Did you invite your friends to see those pictures? Be honest with me. What happened? Maybe, man, maybe. All right, my friend. Take care. And call me anytime you wish. No problem. Take care. Peace. Take care. <laughs> All right, we have the ID of Abdullah James. <laughs> we are calling him. Hello. Hello. Yes, Abdullah. How are you? Hello. I'm. I'm good. Yeah. All right, you are live on air, my friend, and people this hear you in YouTube. What do you want to say to us about the topic? Um, um I can hear I can hear a double voice because I'm speaking on my computer. No, and, uh, mute, um, mute YouTube, mute YouTube, so you will not have that. Either exit YouTube or mute YouTube. Okay, I'll just speak here. Okay, so uh, what okay. do you want to say to us about the topic we are talking about? Um, I just want to um go over basically what you're talking about. Mm. Go ahead. Like if um anybody wants anything to talk about, then we can go over it. No problem. Go. Ahead. I will let you speak as you wish. Whatever you want. What? Go ahead. Um, do you want to pick a topic or anything? I don't know. No, we are talking already. You are talking about Allah. He have hands. Allah have shape. We have mistakes in the Quran. Why Allah have a foot? Um. Well, <laughs> I think um. With that isn't actually correct. That um, we believe that Allah, we don't actually know what He looks like. Mm. We haven't um, been told what His um, physical image is. Mm. An example is um, when the Prophet Musa, alayhi mm. salam, um, basically um, he used to speak with Allah, mm. and um, he was very curious. Like you know, how, um, humans like naturally we, we get curious. Like we want to know more. Hmm. So he asked Allah, um, "Can I can I see you? Like, can I see what you look like? Hmm. Because um, basically, like, I've I've been wondering. Hmm. I don't know. I've been like very curious. <clears throat> so Allah, He told him, um, "There's a mountain over there. Um, look at the mountain, and you'll be able to see me." Okay. Um, so he looked at the mountain, hmm. but then he collapsed, and the mountain um, crumbled. Because basically Allah's image cannot be contained in his creation. Hmm. So from this you can see that we don't actually know what he looks like. Also, when the Prophet went on um went to um um get the the prayer. Okay. So he okay. was you informed know, about a, the prayer. Story. Let me ask you. There is a there is okay. a verse in the Bible in the book of Genesis. Okay. Speaking about God created Adam in his image. Okay. Can you see the screen? It says this is Genesis chapter 5. Um, we are reading from verse screen, number no, one. Oh, no, no problem. It says here it says that God created man in the likeness of God, made him, which means in the image of God. Yeah. Okay, do you agree with that or do you refuse that? Um, is this quoting from the Bible? This is from the Bible, yes. Um, I'm I don't I'm not sure. No, so this is, from the Bible, this is um, the okay. Quran to make it simple the, for you. Bible, to, to make it okay, okay, to make it simple, God he says that the, the Bible says that God created Adam in his image, which is the image of God as a Christ. Do you agree with that? As God, sorry, can you repeat the question? Sorry, do you agree that Adam have the likeness as image of God? Um, I don't have enough knowledge to answer that question. Sorry. So your God, Allah, is not in the. He does not look like uh, Adam. 
No, um, they they do not have the similar Im um, image. No, they do not. So, what if Allah looked like Adam? If we discover that Allah He looked like Adam, what we would do? Is that will be a problem because He looked like a man? <laughs> what? If Allah looked like Adam, is that will be a problem for you because He looked like a man? But um, Allah has told us that um, He is not in our. He is not. He is not like us. So. Mm -hmm. He's he, basically Allah has told us that He is beyond our imagination. Okay, so, so why, if so why you don't confirm? Why you don't, okay, sorry, my, my friend. If he's beyond our imagination, then okay. how can Allah be the same as Adam with hands and feet and stuff like that? All right, that so, doesn't make so sense. So, my friend, as long you confirm to me, you can confirm to me that Allah is not like our image. Why you cannot confirm to me that there is no way Allah will be in the image of Adam? No. He will be, or he will be not. He won't know. Okay, so we confirm now that this will be false. Okay. Okay. Do you confirm that that any teaching like this, like is in the Bible, that God created Adam in His image? Do you agree? According um, to Islam. In the Bible, I've I've heard that it's in the Bible, but um. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm I'm showing you the Bible right now. It's Genesis chapter five, verse number. Well, we are reading from verse number one to three, etc. It's. Oh, yeah, I can see now. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right. God created the man in His image. Okay, yeah. Okay, now is that something Islam agree upon or this is false according to Islam? God isn't exactly like God. It, God isn't. I, I want exactly an answer, my friend. Is that according to Islam accurate or this is false? No, yes, yeah, false. It's false. Okay, so why are your prophet saying this? Saying what? Saying the same. Saying that God created Adam in his image hmm? Allah created Adam in his image It's hard and his, his screen is moving Going with the group of angels sitting there and listen what they were saying to you for. That's picture not Image like is the same. Picture you didn't is the say same. anything about my friend. This is you translation. Didn't say anything about my, physical features. My friend, no, this is physical feature. Even he described for you how tall he is. He says to you, he is 60 cubit. So don't tell me in a picture. This is in Arabic, it says surah. Surah, so what Allah so what al khalq. Surah is the way he created you physically. So here, okay. Allah created Adam in his picture, in his image, 60 cubit. Okay. This is exactly what the Bible says except the addition which is saying he is uh, 60 cubit tall So what we will say now you just say remember that whoever believed that this must be false Well, it depends on like it isn't you do, when you're reading a text hmm. Yeah, you don't read it. Sometimes you don't read it literal like um, no, it's literal have, because he um, described for you. He described for you. Okay, my my friend. I'm not speaking. Okay. When I he's, have um, when a few friends that I speak to. The also friend, Christian as well. Hold on. And when he say to you, about, we what, debate about the Bible and stuff in it. No problem. When he and say to you, sixty they, cubit, is that literal or not? When he say to you, sixty cubit tall, is that literal or not? So I can you say that again? Sorry, I can't hear clearly. When somebody says to you, I created something, building, and it is 30 meter tall, is that literate or this is metaphorical? Uh, I'm not sure. What do you mean, sure? He told you how tall it is. Tall is okay. about size. That's literal. When he's talking about the building, yes. It's okay, literal. so literal, here we go. He says that Allah, he created Adam and he was 60 cubit tall. Okay. Okay. So how this is can be metaphorical? This part is not, but the before the comma. My friend, it's not, my friend, so, there is no comma. What comma? What comma? He says Allah you created are, you Adam are in translation. Allah created Adam in His image. This is why you are a prophet. He said, "Don't beat your brother in his face." Why? Why? Read carefully. I'm trying, I'm... When any one of you fights with his brother, he should oh. avoid his face for Allah created Adam in his own image. Do you see it? In his... 
a picture of my space mm -hmm. or created item in his own image. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So why mm -hmm. you should avoid beating your brother in his face? What is the reason? You can beat him in his ass, but not in his face. Why? So my brain is is I can't think straight right now. Right. Well, you were you were very excited in the text. You were a hero in the text, man. Calling me a liar, la 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 la, la. and now you have nothing to say. I, mean, I, so, I apologize about that part. Um, no problem. You see, I, 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 I you can call me name. I no miss, problem. I you misheard see, what you said. I friend, thought you said um, I'm here to help the Muslims. I'm not angry yeah. from you. You can call me names as you wish. No problem. I'm asking you now. So I'm, you know I'm what? Pilot. You know, I'm you know what, my friend? I'm going to change the topic for you, just for you. Okay. I want you to give me. You tell me what do you want to talk about to prove to me that Allah is God. How you can do that? Don't talk about okay. anything, anything negative. I don't want to ask you about something negative. Uh, I don't want to like, uh, okay, here there's a mistake. Here there's a no, no, no. I want you to give me something really strong. Will make all those people. We have almost a thousand people listening. They will be shocked about how the proof, how strong the proof you gave us about Allah, He must be God. What you will do? Well, I'm not a person of knowledge, so I still can't say a lot. So, uh, uh, my friend, uh, 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 you are a Muslim or you are a Hindu? I'm a Muslim. Okay. So, how a Muslim do not know why he's a Muslim? Why you are a Muslim? Because I believe that Allah is God. Okay. What make you believe He is God? Because of the miracles. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. We are getting closer. Give us one. Give us a miracle which will make the people go crazy. Okay, um, for example, in the Quran, mm. there's um, scientific uh, miracles, there's mathematical miracles, there's linguistic like what? Like miracles. What? Like what? Give us one. Choose okay. one you like, the best of them. Okay, mathematical miracles in the Quran. Like what? Um, one moment. Mm. Give me a moment. Mm. Sorry. Uh... <sighs> So, um, so in the Quran, mm -hmm. the I'm talking about like linguistic and mathematical no ma mathematical miracles in the Quran. Do you speak Arabic first to speak about linguist? Um, no, I'm talking about like literally, like if you translate it into any other languages. Okay, no problem. Okay, give me, go, okay go, go ahead. I'm listening. So, um. The number of times the word man is mentioned in the Quran and the number of times women is mentioned in the Quran is 24. Okay, let's see if this is true or not. Life on air. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, what is the word man in Arabic? Uh, I am not sure. Um, okay, I'm are, I'm you searching, I'm are you searching in Google? You're searching in Google, right? Okay. The article? So, okay. The of man in Arabic. Okay, hold on, hold on. Numbers of man, because I want to show the people on the screen. Word okay. In Quran, I will search in Google. Maybe I can find the same article you are reading from. Mm -hmm. okay. It's um. You want me to send the link in the um, uh, No, I don't open links from uh, Skype. Sorry. Uh, let us see. Is that Islam? Dot are you? Islam. Dot are you? No, it's um. Okay. Debatewise.org. Okay, hold on. Man. All right. Where is it? But you see, I'm trying to find if they wrote that word in Arabic so we can search for the exactly the same word. I found actually an article, but it doesn't say the Arabic words. Does the one you have have the Arabic words for the words or only in English? <coughs> it's English. Only English. It's, it's, it's website it's it's it hasn't got I know, but does it does it uh put the word arabic next to the word man okay anyway uh, I, will, I will okay i will go right now in front of you in the screen look with me in the screen the word man in arabic is rajul uh, frozen i don't know okay let me refresh the page sorry one moment yeah the word the word man in arabic is rajul rajul okay all right how many time it appear Thirteen time. I think this what this means is that you know, like 
when you have synonyms and um no no my friend this is this is a total number this is the total this is not like a I know, I know i know i know but when you're talking in um with um i'm not talking about like the literal i'm not talking about um the word no, money no. So they I'm are talking, talking about, like, about that because when you say the total number no no when you say the total, no 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 when you say the total number it's mean total number of whatever the word is exist so Whatever the word man is exist. Do you want us to switch to English? Shall we switch to English? He wants English. We can search for the word man in English and then you will see that they are lying to you Which translation you wish pick up one? What do you mean by translate because we can search for the word man in English in Arabic? It doesn't show what they are saying the same for the word men women Nisa Yes, the word Nisa is women it appears 71 times. Nisa. Hmm. So what we will do now? It's a lie. Give me another lie. Okay. Let me go back to what I was saying before. When I'm talking about the word man, I'm not talking when because in in my, literature, my friend, my friend, my friend, either you give when, me the word, even you give, sure. either you give me the word, okay, my friend, when, either you give me the word as it is in Arabic, or this is a game we anybody can play. Says okay, I'm, I, as you see now, I'm not searching for exact word, which means any word is a man will appear in Arabic, anyone. I don't see them. Can you repeat word, that again? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you. When sorry. we say, okay, when we say the word man, it's mean the word man. Yeah. Okay. okay. The word man is Rajul in Arabic. That's it. Rajul, you can search anyone. This is the only, what, 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 what is the other word? Other four. <laughs> huh? Okay, let me just, um, this time, okay. So, um, <coughs> Okay, the word um the word dunya for life dunya okay so here we go okay thank you you gave us the word dunya okay how many times the word dunya appear 115 times okay 100 and what 15 115 that's wonderful it's 128 we can change the website for you give me a second maybe we can uh, search for uh, maybe a website will help you better because this search engine sometime let us go to search.com search truth Islamic website because that website have like you can choose in the in the search okay I want you to look with me in this in the screen I will open the screen for you and I will choose all the options all right read with me carefully my friend do you see a screen no okay the Just word dunya the word dunya i search for the word dunya here it says all words do you see it all words you see um, it? no it's, it's not the same yeah. okay take your time okay it's just gonna come okay it's there now all words appear 111 times how many times you said this should appear uh, 115 okay here it says 111 i will make it any word So in different websites, hold on, it's hold on. Basically if we change exact phrase, if we say exact phrase, look how many I will search. Not even found. Not well, even once. Why is not found? Because the word in the Quran appear as al dunya, and now we will find it as one hundred seven time. So they did lie to us again. There's different ways of saying good luck. How you said there's what you can say al dunya, you can say dunya. It doesn't matter. We search for dunya. We search for my friend. We search for dunya and we search for al dunya. We search for any word 
We search for all the words. If you speak a different language, they know that there isn't just My one friend, word. This is Quraysh language. This is not different language. This is Arabic Quraysh, and I, this is this is my first language. I'm not an Italian person speaking to you. We search for the word as it is, and we search for any words. Still, we did not get the numbers. What are the other words you said? Say again. What is the other word you ask for? Let me go back to the website. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> All those numbers are fabricated. Not a single one of them is it true. We from mathematical miracles to scientific miracles. Okay, forget. Okay. okay, so guys, the mathematical miracle did not work. Okay, go to the scientific miracle. Go ahead. Give us the scientific miracle. Like what? Work. We got scientific miracles. Search so Prophet Google. I'm gonna. Because I'm take your no. time, no, no problem. Okay, um, okay, there's the um, hmm. Trying to find the verse. Just tell me what the miracle. I will find you the verse. What is the miracle about what? Okay. Um. Okay. This is one verse. I'm um, talking about um terminal velocity. What is that? What is that? I don't um, understand what that in Arab in, in English. What does that mean? Um, so basically, you know, when you're falling down from the sky. All right. And um, you're falling down, and then there's a maximum speed that you can fall at. Okay. But it's talking about that. Where where it's talking about that? I want to see how okay, this. Um, but sort of. No, I, I, verse. I know, I know, I know what what it, what it says. But where it says that in that verse, how they come to this conclusion? How how they lie to you? What? Do, okay, read for us. I, read read for us the verse. Uh, read for us the verse. Okay, so um, it's saying. Being true to Allah mm. with without associating anything with Him, mm. whoever associates anything with Allah is mm. as though He has fallen from the sky and was snatched by the birds. Mm. Was so now snatched, by, by, the snatched by the bird is a is a miracle. Well, we're we talking about okay. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about what? How this is can be a scientific miracle? This is something we see, and oh, everybody knows. There's birds. Like especially like the eagle or etc when they see uh, uh, any bird flying they snatch him and that's all so that again? when an eagle he see a sparrow or a little bird in the sky he snatch him he kidnap him he take him okay what does have to do with the miracle you are talking about or the science you are talking about this is something we see every day this is discovery okay, now so basically Huh? It's saying, okay, look, 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 listen, okay, listen to what I'm saying. It's saying okay. being true to Allah mm. without associating anything with Him, mm. whoever associates anything with Allah is as though He has fallen from the sky and was snatched by the birds. So, sure. basically, it's saying mm. because um, if you're falling from the sky, mm. so for example, you're falling from the sky in it, and then there's a bird, mm. and then it, it catches you. Mm. Like snatches you mm. like it's actually it's not really possible for something to fall faster than something no okay you have two objects okay they're falling down one's above the other mm. and the falling faster mm. than something the falling faster mm. then you can fall it's not possible for the person behind you mm. To fall faster than the person is in front of my you, friend, the is, my friend. You are assuming that the bird is falling like you, is falling from the same point, and you are now like okay, he was there down before me, and now going after him. It is something falling down, and the bird is there. He jump in the right moment. He snap him. What? Where is the miracle? So you Muslims are desperate trying to find it's anything. It's not. A, it's it's my it's friend, not a miracle. Have you ever it. heard? Have it's, you ever saw? It's not a miracle have you ever uh, have it's you called, ever saw? Have you ever hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever saw an eagle flying with a bird or a fish he kidnapped? And then the fish fell down. Another bird 
he fly and he grab that bird that thing in the air why it's impossible i'm talking about falling down falling down no, no problem he's falling down uh, first bird he took the thing up and when have he you was ever gone flying, parachute? have you ever gone skydiving <laughs> my friend yes i did skydiving in the, sky yes i did skydiving yes i did yes skydiving. i did secondly the bird here can he snatch a man okay can have you ever can a, you, can have a you bird ever been he's talking about what talking about a human being falling down from the sky how in the world a bird can snatch a weight of a man if a human being fell in the airplane will destroy it because his weight yeah. will be like a missile so it's so impossible to snatch just like we don't take the bible just like when when you read the bible you don't take it literally see word no you word. are taking it you literally you see you see the hypocrisy a second ago you were taking it literally saying this is about when you fell down and somebody and you asked me did you do skydiving so it was literally now you don't want it literally no more when you said no, to me, asking, when you said to me, did you sky? So okay, hold on. So is this is literally or not literally? No, I'm just asking you a general question. I'm asking, asking you now. Is this? it literally or not? Brother, can you answer the question? I is answer, that literally or Had not? I want an answer. Before. Is this is literally the example you gave me? Is that scientifically accurate, literally, or this is was metaphorical and you try to make it scientific? Because the when you say it's a, it's a metaphorical verse. Okay. You can take it literal or metaphorically, but okay. Which one you, which side, side which it. side you are taking? Which side you are taking? You are taking now the miracle, the literally or the metaphorically. I'm trying to just okay. I'm trying to okay, so basically, okay, okay. <laughs> the bird was snapped, the guy was snatched by the birds. Okay, who is so, like who, um, which, which bird can snatch a guy? I mean, how a bird in order to snatch something have to be a lot lighter than you. A lot seen lighter, him? a lot lighter. So how a bird can snatch a human being, especially he's falling down. He can I snatch see. him. He can't I even. See. He cannot I even see. snatch him. him. Listen, he cannot even snatch him when he is in the ground, especially if it's a man. What about snatching a man falling down? It's There's impossible. Between snatch and pick up, brother. Huh? There's a difference between snatch and pick up. What pick up? It says Snatch means okay. When somebody's when somebody's falling and you snatch it okay what does that mean say that he never said that they picked him up did it did he no, say that that's what him i'm up? saying that's what i'm saying picked up is a lot easier because you don't have extra power to your weight now it's only your weight but when you are feeling down you have extreme power coming down with you because your weight the more you go down the more with this speed will increase and the more you will be heavy because now you have the 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 the, the, the gravity taking you down it's not you standing in the ground. So if a bird wanna grab one kilograms from the ground, it is different from grabbing or snatching one kilogram failing down from high sky. That will kill him. He cannot snatch it. It's impossible. So you are talking about a human being. You are talking about what? We're talking about a human being who don't believe in Allah. As if he's failing down from the sky and the bird will snatch him. How the bird can do that? okay 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 let's change let's change let's ch let's change okay all right another area in the quran it says that the mountains are pegs the mountains are what pegs okay thank you very much pegs. for this miracle no, what about it tell me okay so basically um the pegs are something that holds something in it mm -hmm. okay so basically in quran is basically describing pegs mm -hmm. as part of the ground as mm. part of the ground the mountains as part of the ground mm. so it's basically saying that the mountains are actually part of the ground it, it, it that's what pegs mean the pegs mean as a nail so it's not no, part it, of the ground when it, when, no 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 when it, what what the word what the what, the, what this word mean p-e-g-s what this word mean do you know when you hold clothes on? my friend what does this word mean in english what this you word know, mean you know when you have washing your clothes no my friend no not not washing your clothes no when you know this is about something you use for the tent when you have a tent you put nails in the ground to hold the rope of your tent is that correct yes okay so is the mountains being pushed inside the earth or the mountains are coming from the earth both no that's false it's coming from the earth it is not something we put in the top of the earth 
It depends on what type of mountain you're talking it about. It doesn't matter. Because, All mountains yeah. are coming from the ground. What are you saying to me? There's mountains. We throw them, put them in the top of the earth somewhere. Okay. What? Okay. 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 Let me show you something. Okay. Show if me I something. If I can send a link in the um in in the group in the chat. Okay. It's a picture. Okay. You can post it in the post it in the chat. You can post it in the chat. Remember, you are the one who said to me that mountains are not part of the earth. You said that, right? Are they, okay, say, are they part of the earth or they are not part of the earth? One moment. No, no, confirm to me. Are they part of the earth or they are not part of the earth? I've sent the I've sent the picture. I, okay, no problem. I'm asking you: Are they part of the Earth or not? No, they, well, it depends because they're across. It's across. The what Earth's across? crust. What? The mountains are not like part part of the Earth. It's the crust on top of the Earth. Okay, but does it mean they are okay? Uh, let me make it simple for you. Did Allah Basically, place? Okay. The roots, My friend, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Did Allah place the mountains in the top of the earth or the mountains came from inside the earth? They came from inside the earth. So the, any, the, 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 okay, hold on, earth. hold on, hold on. One, 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 hold on. So the, the mountains, earth. guys, he just said, the mountains no. come from inside the earth. I want you to confirm that so later we will not change our mind. It depends on where you're coming from. Don't tell me the band. Don't, don't, don't tell me the band. The Either earth. here or there. The no, it cannot be both. One of them. One of them. Like, don't tell me the band. There's no the band. Either it is from inside the earth or from out, or it is placed in the top of the earth. Which one? Choose one. Okay. Okay. So what? Okay. What? Is it, is it the place? The Come on, let me go back to I'm the not talking now. Saying. I'm asking you according to science, please. Then, then we will talk about the verse. According to science, the one you know, is the mountains placed in the top of the earth or the mountains are coming from inside the earth? I want an answer from you. Please. What we will do now? Why, why you don't want to answer? You are searching Google. Saying something, so saying that something is from and put like that. That they, 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 you never saw the mountains coming flying from the sky, did you? So obviously <laughs> they came from the earth. My friend. Okay, I'm asking you. Don't give me an answer. So according to you, according to the science you understand and you believe in, is the mountains coming from the sky? Placed on the earth, or they are coming from inside the earth. They don't come from inside the earth, they come from the earth. Okay, they come from inside the earth. That's wonderful, guys. Finally, he said something, and now we can go. Let me show you the from okay. verse. Okay, hold on. We go to the from verse on the Quran. And remember, you just said that you cannot take it back because now you will say, Ah, oh, I did not say that. Oh, no way, you did, and everybody heard you. It's recorded. If we go in the Quran, okay, it says the following. Let us see. <clears throat> okay. Go to forty. Uh, Chapter 79, verse number 32. Okay, what is this? I don't understand. I don't know. Okay. Chapter 79, verse number 32. What it says? Wait, which one? Sorry. Chapter 79, verse number 32. What it does say? 32. That's, um, that's, we can't see 32. Hmm. Do you know what it says? The, um, the screens, I can't see anything on the screen. No, I'm asking you. Do you know what it says? I'm not. Hmm. According to your God, 
Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth okay is that correct yes okay but you said to me the earth is where the mountains came from he did not place it on top of them but the mountains are placed on the earth like the, the on the earth like no the you said like nobody heard you and I asked you twice and I asked you twice and I asked you I asked you twice and you confirmed that the mountains is coming from inside the earth not placed on the top of the earth yes okay the so so when the, the when the Quran says yeah. Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth that mean it's wrong okay can you show me the um the first please Here we go. Read this verse, chapter 41, verse number 10. We can change the translation if you don't like this translation. Which translation you is your favorite? This is okay. Hmm. I asked you is the mountains in the top of the earth or they are from the earth you answered and everybody heard you you said from inside the earth not from the top of the earth according okay. to your God he placed the mountain in the top of the earth where does it on top of the earth he it says, says with there in yes the and earth. then he placed it says read, read carefully he placed read carefully there. he placed there in he placed what he placed mean he placed it there in Okay, he, what 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 does that mean? Placed when you say I placed when I say I placed something, I placed this here. What does that mean? He placed that when you have when you say he placed, that means you put something on top. But then when you add the word there okay. in when you say he placed, no, he, no, 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 no. Well, there's no in. First of all, there is no in. Secondly, it says he placed there in firm mountains. He placed it there. It's not from the earth. It was no mountains, and he placed it there. What's mean that there was a mountain, he took it, he placed it on the earth. Okay. Okay, but this is wrong according to you. You are the one who said to me that that verse saying, according to you, that it's coming from inside the earth. You try to explain it this way, but it's not. The Quran confirmed that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. One moment, please. Okay. So this is a problem. How Allah He says such a silly stuff. How does God He think that He placed mountains in the top of the earth, and this is how the mountains are formed? There was earth. Okay. He made it mm. flat, and then He placed the mountains in the top of it. Okay, so what we will do now? Okay, so basically, basically, this is a uh, absolutely false. When he says place therein for mountains from mm. above it, he yeah. says the word above it in it, so that means it's on top. Okay, my friend, uh, 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 come on, okay. everybody, everybody okay. Uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like uh, uh, say something will offend you. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be friendly with you. Be honest, be honest with me. When you say I placed something on something, okay, placed okay. the thing. That's mean that thing was not there, correct? Okay, yes. Okay, and where I place it? You continue the verse for me. Where you where you place it? He placed it in the earth. Firm where mountains. where? Okay, he placed it. You said you said in the earth, correct? He he placed it in the earth. Okay, you said that. Okay, that's mean the earth. That, that's mean the mountains. That's mean the mountains are not from the earth. That's mean the mountains are not from the earth. Do we agree? Where does he say they're not from the earth? Because he placed it on the earth. The earth was there. And then he yeah. placed it on the earth. I mean, come on. <laughs> Where did he say he then placed therein? Because my, the earth. My friend, he described for you how he created the earth. And he is speaking about things in order. Read carefully with me. Say, okay. Oh Muhammad, do you verily disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days? 
Okay. What he did, he created the earth in two days. Okay. And then in Arabic, here it says, Wajala fiha rawasi. Wa is a harfu atf, which means next. He did this. And wa, he did this. And wa, he did this. This is what and mean. So, and then if we change the translation, maybe the translation here is making you confused. We can change the translation for you because this is what it says. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. Do you like Yusuf Ali or you like something else? Choose anyone. Any. Okay. All right. This one is even, even, even better. He said, on earth, mountains are standing firm. Which one was exist before the earth, correct? Show me. When I say, when I say, I sit on the earth, he already, he said to us, he created the earth. So earth is already exist. Do we agree? He said on the earth, mountain standing from mm. high above it. Mm. Look, go back. Okay. He sat on the earth, mountain standing from high above it. Mm. And bestowed blessings on the earth. Mm. And I did the... Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't read it. What? Um, I, I was reading it. All right. Um, and show the whole verse. We are showing. What do you, what do you want? Which verse? Here, the, the verse before have nothing to do with the topic. It's nine about, or ten? Nine and ten. We are showing nine and ten. Here we go. This is nine and this is ten. And I will take okay. the, the bar so you can see it, all of it. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> um, say it that you deny him who created the earth in two days, and mm. do you do you join equal with him? Okay. Mm. So, what we will do now? What do you understand? I don't, I don't know what, you, what your point is. What are you trying to say? My, my point is, you confirm to me that the mountains coming from inside the earth, according to the Quran, Allah He placed the mountains in the top of the earth, and this is absolutely false. He sat on the earth, mountain standing firm. Hmm. Okay, let me check something. Um, are you still here? I'm listening to you, waiting for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I was wondering what happened then. No, I'm wondering what happened. You are the one who is going to search. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. You are searching in, in Google, and I'm waiting for the answer. The verse is so clear. This is what you choose for me, and what you choose for me. You wanted to choose it to prove to me that the Quran is a book of God. But what you choose for me, proving to me that the Quran is a false book. I did not prove. Um... You choose this one. It's not me who choose this one. It is you who choose to show me those verses, to show me how the mountains is created. Correct? Wasn't this is your choice? Yes. Okay, but this is wrong. I'm just, I'm just, I'm reading. So sorry. what we will do? Well, um, what I was trying to say from before, yeah, sorry, is that if you was to see the structure of the earth, mm. I'm not sure if you know how it is, but there's 
a, a, a liquid layer underneath the solid layer. <laughs> My so friend, solid I layer. ask you, okay. I ask you to stop playing games. You said from the beginning, I asked you the question twice. You said the mountains are created from inside the earth. Are you going to swallow what you said back? Or you still stand it's, for what yeah, you I said? Agree okay, I, okay, I agree. That here it agree says, that here it says, Allah, He put the mountains on the top of the earth. Which Read one is exactly the correct what one? He says, he says, He set on the earth. Don't, don't, don't change, change the words. What? Read it as exactly how it says. Okay, He set the mountains. What does it mean? He set. He set on the earth. What does it mean? It's set. I set. I set. I set on something. What does that mean? It's mean I am in the top of that thing, correct? That's that means set. That's yeah, the word set. Yeah, this is what this word set means. Set you you place something in the top of something. You place something in the top of something, or you sit on it. You know what set, man, right? When you say I sit in the chair, it means I I am not the chair. I am in the top of the chair. Okay. Okay. So he said on the earth, mountains. So the mountains are placed set on the earth. In the above, they are not even inside the earth, it's from above. And this is absolutely scientifically wrong. Okay, did God put trees on the earth? What? Did God put, did God put trees on the earth? He did not put the trees on the earth. The, 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 well, he, he placed a seed in the ground and they grow. This is not but what but. So God Listen, and we are talking about the mountains. The mountains are made of rocks. They are not growing and they grow by size, by food. We are it's talking about funny. how he created the mountains. Is the mountain the same as a tree? No, I'm just I can't take a tree, I can't take a tree, and I can place it in different place. It's possible. But yes. here we are talking about how the tree, how, how the mountains are created. So according to Islam, the earth was a flat, and Allah He made mountains in the top of it. I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, right. but you are the one who mentioned this to me to prove to me okay, that the Quran so have a miracle. Okay, let's go to a different one. Forget about this one. This one is a stupid. It's obviously Allah cannot be God based on this. Give me a different one. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, the Big Bang in the Quran. The Big Bang, that's wonderful. We're in the Big Bang in the Quran. Okay, um, D, um, is um, Surah 21, verse 30. I know, you do not need to tell me, but I'm saying, where is the Big Bang? To explain to us. Okay, it says, um, do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and the earth hmm. were meshed together and then we rip ripped them apart hmm. and then we made of water everything living. Would they still not believe? Okay, and where is the big band there? It didn't say literally the big bang, it says okay. the word. My friend, uh, you are the one who said the big uh, bang is there. All right, uh -huh. so it have to be there. Don't tell me it did not say literally. Now, do you know? So okay, all right, no problem. But when you say the big bang, that's mean literally. You said the big bang is there, so literally, the big bang is a physical thing, it's not a metaphorical. So where it says the Big Bang, my friend. I'm not asking you, by the way, to show me the word Big Bang. No, I'm asking you where in the verse it says that there's a Big Bang happen. Okay, it says here, where the earth were meshed together hmm. and then we ripped them apart. All right, but that's mean there was earth and there was heaven and they are okay. united together, okay. correct? In the translation, it says we joined hold on. together. Hold on, one year of hold on. Creation. Here we have a mistake. Here we, we have a mistake, a, a clear mistake. The Quran says, that the earth and the heaven they used to be one piece and we split them from each other. Do you agree with that? So again, okay, yes. Okay, so the Quran saying that the earth and the heaven they used to be one piece. Are we really split now from the space or we are inside the space? What are you talking about, brother? It says there that the earth and the heaven used to be one unit to join together. So there was okay. earth, there was earth, and there was heaven. The Big Bang, it doesn't say that. The Big Bang says the Earth created millions and trillions of years after that. So 
You want to say Big Bang? How you say that the earth and the heaven they used to be together and then we split them and now are we really split from the space or we are inside the space? Okay, um, do you know what the Big Bang is? I know what the Big Bang two two women. They are fighting together over their son-in-law But this is not my my topic now. Listen where is the Big Bang there? The earth was and the heaven they used to be together and Allah he split them. Are we split from the space or we are inside the space? I don't understand your logic there. Sorry. Are we inside the space? Let me show you Google. To, 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 you don't understand? You understand? Come on. I mean, now you don't understand? You, you are a person who knows what the Big Bang and now you don't understand what I'm talking about. Space. Let me ask you, are we inside the space or we are not? We are inside. We are in space. One okay, Earth. so the Quran is Earth wrong. Is so the Quran is wrong because we are not split from the heaven. We are inside the heaven. Actually, the Earth is not even like a little tiny dust inside the heaven. So how we are split from the heaven? Are we? Are, are, is, 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 is the Earth? Is the Earth? Is something? Is exist by itself, and the heaven have nothing to do with it, or the Earth is inside the heaven? Okay, do you know how the big do you know anything about the big I'm asking you, know you don't change the topic is the earth is inside the sky or we are not inside the sky The sky is part of the earth it's not it is the earth opposite when you say the sky is part of the earth You are saying as if the earth is the big one and the sky is the small one. We are little tiny dust inside the sky Do you mean like the okay. space, the space, the space around us. This is the sky. When you say heaven, the Quran actually even doesn't say even the word heaven. It says as samawat, which means the skies. So in the sky, are we inside the sky or we are totally out of the sky? We're inside the sky. Okay, so we are in the sky. So how the Quran okay. makes such a stupid mistake saying that we are not united with the sky no more and we are separated? It didn't say that it says, it says that you all on hold on okay. you are the one who called for this one for me to show me that he split them and he made them two pieces one piece is called the earth and one piece is called the sky I isn't this is the purpose is. of this topic you said to me I the big it, bang I the big... english teachers taught you much english my friend you speak english better than me no problem I know you, you don't understand the English language. No, you understand. The, first of all, I'm not reading your Quran in, in English. I read it in Arabic, and you are the one who don't understand the language of your God. You pray to Allah in a language which you don't understand, and now you are giving me a speech about English. Uh, now answer, Mister Mister Man, who speak English. Did Allah did Allah separated the earth from the sky? Did He say that in the Quran? You just read it. Okay, I'm asking you. Would, would your English be with your perfect English did Allah separate the earth from the sky either you say yes or you say no He never What never Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I thought you speak good English It says yeah, do not the disbelievers see that the heavens and earth were meshed together meshed means mean they were all one so it, it wasn't like they were squashed together like somebody got the earth and heaven and squished them I don't together. care. They used to be one unit. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, and the, now what happened? And now what happened? Are we not one unit no more? Say that again? Are, are we not inside the space? Because if you say we, we are not no more, it means we are not in the space. We're going around in circles. This is not the question. Who cares about going circle? Are you, are you in it or what? Are we inside the earth, the, the, the sky, or we are out of the sky? We're inside the sky. Okay, so the how he says, how he say he split us. Are we split? If we are inside something, how we can be split? Imagine I put you inside the room, and I say to you, you are split from the room, but you are inside the room. Okay, you know, do you know what atoms are? I know what atom is. Do you know Mr. Atom okay. yourself? Let me, explain, well, let me explain something to you. Very Hold on. You is have atom, a is atom in or out? You have, okay, look, can I explain something? You have is atom, is atom, is no, inside or outside? You can, I'm answering every single one of your questions, okay? 
just answer, please, just let me speak. You never answer, answer anything. Let me remind you. As just a minute ago, you said to me, I don't know what to say about this one, and we move to the second topic. So since when you're answering, you never answer anything. Now, giving me room now listen, listen, questions. listen. What about we read the interpretation for this verse? Is that okay for you? No. Why no? Please, can I please have my turn to speak? I'm asking you, why you don't want to read the Islamic interpretation? Is, is the Islamic interpretation for the verse is embarrassing for you? No, it is not. So, I'm explaining so it. So why okay. you don't want to read the interpretation for this verse? What's what the problem? Speak again for you. Okay, do not do not the disbelievers. I'm see asking you. I'm asking you why you together. are trying to fabricate interpretation. It never exists. If we read the Islamic interpretation, do they agree with you, or this is your fabrication, Muslims, in 2019? 2019, where? Is that a new fabrication of the Quran, or this is how the Quran understood by Muslims? We 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 and we um, I, I don't understand where you where you're coming from. <laughs> I'm asking you now. Is this yeah. is understanding? The one you are giving me now and you're trying to explain to me why it's yes. so complicated why you don't tell me okay you know what we have earth we are heaven what we have now there used to be one there used to be one right but there was okay. earth there was earth and there was heaven does the quran says that there was earth there was earth and there, and there was, was heaven. heaven okay is the big bang believe that there was earth and there was heaven and then the boom yes the, the big bang believe in that <laughs> the big bang believe the earth and the heaven they use exist together i'm trying to um hmm. Um, who's reading for me? Hmm. Okay, what is your question again? Sorry, and you are asking me that what the question what's wrong with you? Are you lost? Here it says that there's earth and there is heaven, and they used to be one unit, so there is earth yeah. and there is heaven. It is not after that they are created. So is that what the Big Bang teach that there was earth and they were heaven, but they used to be stitched together? Is that what the Big Bang teach? Yes. That's a lie. The Big Bang says that there is an explosion. And then after millions of years, trillions of years, the earth was created. Why are you lying? Where did it say explosion? What's, what, so what the Big Bang is? What bang mean? I thought you speak better English than mine. What bang mean? Big bang. What what does that mean? Okay, not uh, what 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 not, what, the, what, the bang, what the world bang what the world bang mean? What the big bang? What the big bang mean? What the world bang mean? Teach me. I want to learn English from you. Okay, it may not be big bang or whatever, but it's just the term that we use to. Ex to describe the expansion of the universe mm. but in the plan it just it describes it mm. not as a explosion <laughs> okay abdul first of all let me show that everybody how muslims are stupid and silly and the second you corner then they start speaking things which have nothing to do with our topic listen does it say here don't the be disbelievers see does it say see okay okay do they see that really do those believers in the time of muhammad saw the big bang does it say the people of Muhammad? He says the unbelievers. So it means people. Yeah. Throughout Nobody the saw the Big Bang. Nobody saw the Big Bang. It says, "Don't, don't the unbelievers see?" Does it say the word "see"? Yes. Okay. He is talking about something they see. Okay. Okay. And what he's saying that the earth and the heaven used to be together. Did it, did did anyone see that? You if I say to you, if I say to you, didn't you see, didn't you see the flood of Noah? You would say to me, no, I did not see. I heard of it. So the statement here is a stupid. It says were. 
that they were he didn't say what where what where what where what where yeah where it says didn't they see what is where they saw it didn't they see the believers didn't they see okay. did they see any of this okay hold on what they see what they see they see what they see that the earth and the heaven are not together no more at least do you agree can i can i tell you something okay <laughs> when we see something expanding mm. like if, for example if we see an ex a, a, a balloon expanding uh. we can see that the uh, that the balloon started off small because it's expanding mm. so our logic we can see that mm. it was the balloon mm. was started off small mm. so we never saw it when it was small we can see that it was small uh, but did we see any of this abdul did we see we are talking about a specific thing and you are the one who said this is the big bang so did those people see any of the big bang when the balloon was expanding did you see wait, okay if you, if you used to see somebody did in you the, see in, the heaven in, expanding yourself I'm trying to I'm trying to explain this in the most No, you cannot explain. Term, no, no, you are not explaining. You are just going in a circle. Did they see that? First of all, so they did not see this is a lie. It's a stupid uh, this is a stupid a statement. Lie. Secondly, the earth and the, and the sky, they were not at one unit together and we split them because simply they are together still. We are inside the space. We are not out of the space. If we are out of the sky, that will make us Split it, but we are right now we're swimming in the space. We are like a big spaceship. So, how you can say, imagine you have a spaceship in the sky, and you say we split the spaceship from the sky. It's a smooth, it's a flying in the sky. How you say that? Are you serious about this? Like I'm very serious. I'm very I want you to answer me. If a spaceship, if a spaceship is in the sky. Is it inside the sky or it is a split it from the sky answer? I don't understand how that uh, uh, What do you mean you don't understand the earth is the same the earth is a small tiny little dust Inside the space. So how we are split it from the space What do you mean split it from the space this way it says it says they used to be one unit and we separate them why are you talking about spaceships and splitting it from the sky? The Earth is the same as a spaceship. It's a huge for us. It's a huge, but in the space, it's so small. It's not even the size of a dust compared to the space. Not even a size of a dust. So how we can say that the Earth is separated from the heaven if we are swimming inside the heaven? When does it say that they were split apart? In the front of you, aren't you the one who said to me this? It that this is the big. <laughs> My friend, it says, read carefully, read carefully. This is the translation in front of you. It says, before we clove them asunder. What the word the clove mean? Bring apart. Okay, so separated. They became apart. Are we apart from the space? Hmm? What do you need to get? What do you need to get? Sorry, one moment. Sorry. Hmm. Just, I'm, I'm talking to someone. Sorry. No problem. So, what do you think? <clears throat> Are we glove them asunder? Did that what happen? Okay. Um. The word clove asunder means mm -hmm. when something gets taken apart it doesn't mean like mm. are we apart like, are we apart literally. from the space are we apart from the space it depends on how you how you how you saying it no 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 there's no depend are we apart of this from the space are we inside the space or we are not we're inside of empty space yes okay so how we are apart from the space we're not part of the space but we're inside the space okay so you just said that the quran saying he made us apart oh. we are apart from the sky this is what you said just a second ago so how we are apart if we are inside well well uh, no I'm, i don't mean a part like a part like we're part of it like i'm a part of that group <laughs> 
I'm a part of okay. Um, I, 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 listen, listen, I, listen, like, Abdul. Listen, I'm I don't know what's your name. What's, what's your name? What's your name? Abdullah. Abdullah. Listen, Abdullah. I was right when I said Abdul. Listen, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Is that okay to read it for you? Say that again. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Is that okay to read it for you, or you wouldn't like a Muslim scholar to explain? So I, I don't, I don't understand what, you, what you're saying. Say that again. Read carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. It says, "Have they not?" One may read, etc. He read in Arabic here. Realized, have they not come to know those who disbelieve that the heaven and the earth were closed together, and then we parted them, we made seven heavens and seven earth. Is that true? There is seven earth. Seven earth. Mm. Okay, have they not one main reason? They have not come to those who believe that the heavens and earth were close together, and then we parted them and made seven heavens and seven. Mm. Okay, what's your question about this again? I'm asking you now. Is that another stupid mistake that there is seven earth? No. So there is seven earth. Yes. Where are they? It means dimensions. Do you know what dimensions are? Dimension. What dimension? Like this, um, there's a first dimension, second dimension, third okay, what dimension. Is this, what is the first dim? What is the first earth and the second earth? And, and I'm trying to understand what is the first earth, the second earth. Do you know what a dimension is, my friend? You tell me what is this uh, seven earth? What does that mean? It means. Did your God? He said seven dimension, or he said seven earth and seven heavens. <laughs> That's from seven different dimensions. Do you know what that means? I'm asking you, did your God Allah say there are seven skies? Is the seven skies are seven dimensions too? Or they are literally seven skies? Do you know what dimensions are? Are they seven skies literally or not? Or it's one yes, sky? Yes, literally. Okay, literally. So he's saying there yeah. are seven skies and seven earth. So you cannot say this is a dimension and that one is not dimension. So it is literally. What is the seven earth oh. literally? I cannot ask you about the seven heaven because nobody saws what is there. What is the seven earth? How long have you been um, like reading English, like studying English? Like how long? I am not you... reading English. I'm reading in Arabic. Stop no, being, no, stop being a, stop being a, stop being a fool. I am here schooling you in your own Quran language. And not the English is for the fool like you who don't speak. He pray to Allah in Arabic, but That's... yet he don't know Arabic because you're a fool. No, my sisters in here are no, I, I'm asking you. I, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What is the seven earth in the Quran? I'm happy this is going live, you know, because you're making a fool of yourself. You don't even know what dimension is. You tell me, okay, seven earth, what the seven dimension is. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me go to Google and ask what a dimension is. I thought you know, but now you are searching. I'm going. I'm getting the actual definition, so I don't make any. I'm not. I don't know the. I don't know. <laughs> so you are using a word you yourself you do not know, and you are telling me, do you know what seven dimension means? Okay. Hmm. I don't, I don't know the exact it's definition for a dimension. So why you are saying so to me, why you keep saying to me for the last five well, minutes, making fun of my English, saying, do you know you what seven dimension means? And now you yourself, you do not know what seven dimensions mean. Do you know what a realm is? I'm asking you, why you mention to me seven dimensions if you do not know what they mean? Okay, I don't know every single word. But you are I the one who said to me, don't, don't you know? I don't know the exact you are the one. You are the one who said to me. Host, okay. listen. You that are the one who said to me, I don't, don't you know? Listen, listen. You are, listen. Friend, you say, are the one. You are the one who said. Hold on. You are the one who said. Listen. 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 You are the one who said. Don't you know? As if you know. And now, when you made fun of my English, and now we discover that you yourself you do not know what the word you said to me means. Isn't it, this I know is funny. it means, but I don't know the literal definition. That's mean you do not know still, because you just say because I know it means. because you are you know how to say the words, but they do not know what they mean. Okay, explain to me what the seven dimensions mean. I'm listening. Okay, do you know what a realm is? You know what? A realm. A realm. What is that? Um, R e a l m. Okay, go ahead. What is that? 
this is shocking. I can't believe it. <laughs> Abdul, it, 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 okay. let, let me show everybody. Let, let me show everybody way. that you, you, are, you, you are you are being smoked and the smoke is coming from your head. Can you show me okay. one Islamic interpretation? Speak about oh, wow. the dimension of those of, of, of uh, the seven earth. Where do you get this from? The okay. dimension is that from okay, your head? I was listen, listen, everybody will laugh at you in a second. Is that a creation of your own? Is that your okay, own fabrication, Muslim, or this is what the Islamic Muslim. scholars agreed upon? I'm asking you, is that what the Muslims agree upon? That this is seven dimension, or the Muslims believe that there are seven real earth? Both. What both? So to cover you to, to cover yourself, you say both. What do you mean both? Okay, show me the scholar who believe in both. As long okay, okay, I will go with you. Who is the scholar? He agreed that it is both. It is seven earth and seven dimension. I don't care. That's it. You agreed that it is seven earth. Where are they? As long you said both, as long you agree that they are both. Okay, so we have seven earth. What is the seven earth Allah He created? Where are they? I'm asking you, what are they? What are hmm. what are the dimensions? No, what are they? Seven Earth, because you said both. Now you cannot get away from it. You said both. I asked you, is it literally seven Earth and seven dimension, or seven Earth and uh, which one? You said both. So now you cannot say they are not seven Earth no more. So where we come? Where are they? What are they? Those seven Earth. Earths. Hmm. They, are, they are Earths. The Earths are Earths. The earth is earth. Okay, what is the second one? What do you mean second one? The second earth. There are seven. The sec are you asking me for like the locations? Like what are they? The what are they? When Allah He says, I created you, and He said, Don't you see? Don't you see? It's mean we see them. Where are they? To know those who believe that the heavens and earth were close together and then we part them, we made seven hearts. Is in where does it say that we, we see them? The what the verse before it there it says, Don't you don't the disbelievers they see? You this forgot? is not a verse, this is a hadith. Oh, this is not Quran. The Quran never say the Quran, the earth is seven earth. No, this is oh my god. So, this is hadith. This... So, so if it's hadith now, you don't accept it. Are you saying that to me? I, I didn't say that. I okay, so you, okay, you, so you, it, you, you so this, this is so this is not Quran, Quran. so this is not Quran. This is a stupid guy saying there's seven earth. I didn't say that. Either. Okay, so who is the stupid guy saying that there's seven earth? Who is I he? I didn't say he's stupid either. Okay, who is the one who said that? Why are you saying? Why are you saying stupid guy? Stupid, okay, the smart guy. Is. Okay, who is the smart guy? He said there is seven earth. Do do I call you stupid? Do I call My Jesus friend, stupid? I, I, okay, I, I, I just say no, Jesus. You are saying to me, you are saying to me, is that is that Muhammad? Are you are What's wrong with you? Are you saying Muhammad saying that? Are you are you a person of knowledge? I I'm learning from you. As you see, I do not know what the seven You're dimensions mean. It's it's you as the person of knowledge. I'm asking you, who is the one who's saying there's seven earth? If he had brains, listen, if, listen, if not, listen, you are a potato, you have no idea what are you talking about? Who is the one who said there's seven earth? Head. Who is, one, who is the one? Who is the who is the one who said there is seven earth? I'm asking you, please answer. Who is the one who said that? The, you can see the person Tafsir al Jal. Okay. I don't know. So you are saying name. this is a Jalalain, not your God Allah. Yes, it's a Tafsir. A Tafsir is an explanation of. Uh, I verse. thought I thought Allah saying that. So this is a Tafsir, not Allah. Yes, this is a tafsir. Okay, a so tafsir. maybe this guy, maybe he's wrong. It's then maybe he's wrong because he's a scholar. He's a scholar. Maybe he's wrong. How you take his words for granted that there are seven? How you take a man? How you take a man saying to you there is seven earth for granted? Maybe he's wrong. Yes, maybe he's wrong. You are right. Okay, you are right. So you are right. But look, look, guess what? In a second, you will change your mind because this is Quran. It is the Quran saying that. And now what you will say you will say I, you you I, you will you will stay honest and you will say this is wrong still maybe here we go it is the quran says there is seven earth and seven heaven okay but you just said maybe he's wrong and you agreed 
Trump said he could be wrong because per everybody people perfect, make mistakes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So he could be wrong. Right. He could be wrong. Uh, okay, now why why the one who said this cannot be wrong no more? He's saying, I said he could be wrong, but I'm not disagreeing with what he's saying. Buddy, take a hike. Let your dad call me next time, okay? I want an adult to talk to me. <laughs> Unbelievable. He created the earth and the heaven, seven earth and seven heaven. A second ago, he said it could be wrong. Okay, now he is talking. Is he wrong anymore? No. You see how they change? Just because I showed him, I just made him believe that, okay, maybe this is uh, the, 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 the guy they're talking there. Uh, he want to save his ass. So right away he said, okay, maybe he's wrong. Yeah, you are right. Maybe he's wrong. Huh? Because he could not answer. So it was like, a, like somebody in the ocean and he found a piece of wood and he want to hold in it. And then when he found that the piece of wood he hold is not a wood, it's a shark. You see, those Muslims, you cannot debate them. You have to trap them for a very simple reason. 90% of them, they are playing dishonest. You show them the Quran saying, Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. And he says to me, do you know what place on me? Do you know what uh, dimension mean? Do you know? And, and he make fun of my English. <laughs> don't they are not honest people they will play all kind of games in order to deceive and not to answer everything you showed us we prove it to be false and we got your prophet busted with no mercy and here when you showed me this proving to me very stupid statement and by the way this guy he said that Allah he created from everything from water everything created from water well the angels are not created from water neither the genie and this is a very clear mistake is the angel created from water no is the genie created from water? The, the, the angels are created from light and the genie created from fire. What this God is talking about? Stupidity. And you know, seven earth or seven dimension, who cares? Everything is dimension. Everything we have us around us, as long as it's physical, is dimension. Actually, even the empty space is a dimension. What, what, what a stupid answer. Seven dimension. So what if it's seven dimension? Seven dimension. So? But they cannot explain. And not only that, do you know that Allah, he created the stars so he can shoot the shaitan in his ass? This is the purpose of the stars, as a beautification for the beholder, for us. But as you know, we don't see all the stars. Actually, we don't even see one of billion percent of the stars. And indeed, we have adorned the nearest heaven with lamps, and we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the shaitan. Allah Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Star War, Stargate. Shaitan, Allah will shoot him by a star. But isn't it the shaitan he sleep in your nose? As Muhammad he said, How shaitan he sleep in your nose, yet to kill him, you need a star. A star. I mean, don't you think this is too big? And how you can shoot the star who cannot leave the earth by, I mean, you shoot, shoot a shaitan who live in the earth by a star, but this guy is inside the earth.
This is science. And the seven skies are seven in the top of each other. All right. We aren't going to stay longer because this is getting too long. And uh, so we'll give you opportunity to download, guys. You can download the whole thing. Please download it. We will not keep it for long in the in my page. So, uh, and I hope that this guy, he will see how silly the Quran is. And as you see, the Muslims, they have no knowledge whatsoever in, on anything. Poor people, they lie to them about miracle in the Quran. The word brother, the word women in the Quran is repeated. Blah, 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 blah. The word brother, we check on, never true. Miracle of number 19, go watch my videos about it. It's a big fat lie. By the way, even Muslims, they reject this false miracle. Even the guy who came with it, they killed him. His name is Rashad Khalifa. He have to take verses from the Quran to make it fit. And even after he took the verses, still it doesn't fit because it's stupid. <clears throat> My friend, I am a Christian prince and neither your God or his angels or his prophet can debate me. I was speaking to you going down to your level next time call your scholar say can you call this guy we want a scholar to dare to call where are they where are they they are missing we cannot find them in the radar after I hang up and I go the scholars will be there and then everybody will be a scholar in a magical way. Uh, Georgie, maybe next time, my friend, that's it, that's it. I am here for three hours already. So I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow if I can. Don't forget to subscribe. You can read my books if you like. And we have in Spanish, German, Dutch, French, uh, English. Uh, so you can search for my books in amazon.com amazon spain amazon uh, england whatever it is and you will find them if you like to read and learn more about the stupid cult of islam and i will see you again may the lord bless you christ is lord and islam is false thank you very much take care